Andrea Trivet, the host of Portraits of Destiny. This show is about the lives of people in the world who are shaping the fabric of our world. I'm extremely excited to have in the studio today Dr. Jacqueline Hatnot. Would you please help me welcome her? <laughs> Thank you. Talk about the Life in the Spirit Award. Ooh, that's my baby. Yes. The Life in the Spirit Awards, honoring those who honor God. God gave me the vision for this awards banquet ceremony uh, back in 2008. Okay. And he okay. gave me that passion to honor the individuals who are honoring him with their lives and their lifestyle. Simply put, if you're doing something that is advancing the kingdom of God, because we can't build the kingdom, it's already built. Right, right. But you can do things that advance, perpetuate, motivate, stimulate the people to understand kingdom. And so there are individuals that are phenomenal in their walk with the Lord, and they get very little recognition That's it, right for there. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They get show very, shown very little appreciation for what they're doing. So Life in the Spirit Awards, my husband and I, it's, so far it's been in 2008, now here 2011. And we built this around the premise of these are the people that God wants to honor. We don't care if nobody else knows them. They're doing a phenomenal work for the kingdom. Yes. And so we bring them all together into Kansas City. We put them in the grand ball ballroom of this hotel, wonderful place. And we love on them. We feed them. We appreciate them. Give them wonderful trophies. Talk about their lives and their ministries. And just have a weekend of sweet fellowship. Yes. And that's it. You know, the people that are being awarded, they do it because it's a love. Yes. And they don't do it for the approval of men. Um, they do it because it's just in my heart to do. Absolutely. And I think that it's absolutely amazing. And I just thank God for this concept that you all had, this idea that you had to honor those that are the unsung heroes or the, yes. the, the, you know, wind beneath our wings that we never see. You know, so many times people just, everybody wants to be, oh, and they see the whoever's in the forefront. Yes. But there are people, there are men and women of God that are doing it with the right motive. They're serving God with all their hearts with the right motive. And so I'd like to commend you and your husband for even just coming up with an ideal to honor those that are serving with sincerity. Amen. And so I'm excited about the Life in the Spirit Awards and I hope that you all get your tickets and come on out and join us for the Life in the Spirit Awards. <laughs> is about twisting the truth to make it your own I don't I don't know how to describe it. Do you lie? Not at all. Lying's not cool. I don't you know, I, I don't like to lie so I, I don't do it. Okay, so what's your name? Do I have to give my real name? You can make a fake one. Can I lie? Yeah. Um I have lied but um I always ask God for forgiveness and I always feel bad about it. So you're saying you never lie? That's what I'm saying. I don't lie. You're lying right now. Do you know you're lying right now? I'm lying to you. Do you think lying is okay? No. Do you lie? No, I don't. So you think lying is bad? I absolutely think lying is bad. Do you lie? Occasionally. Do you lie? Yeah. Do you think it's okay? Depends. I don't lie, you're right. How could that be? Because I'm a very honest person. Do you lie to your parents? I, not in a long time. I don't try to. No, well, I need you to confess that you're lying. Can you just tell me that you lied? I don't lie, all right? You're, you're lying right now. Leave me alone. You're, you're lying right now. Seriously, you're such a liar. Come here, lie.
Plan, I want you to bless it. God's like, hmm. That'll hurt you. That'll hurt you. Ooh, that'll kill you. I'm not blessing that. So. Hey, this is Mama J, and welcome to the special blend. A special blend of music just for you, mixed and measured by Mama J on the special blend. father and his son you know together on the show today and and that's a good thing we can get both sides of, of the story uh elder um, um do you have a good relationship uh with uh with your father here and what difference you know and how, what kind of impact did it make on your life i do i have a great I'm Dr. Jackie Hadnot, and welcome to The Author's Connection. And I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom all praises and all blessings are due. You are in for an exciting evening of The Author's Connection. In the studio with me is a dynamic woman of God, and she has an exciting book to encourage, inspire, and motivate single women and men to live holy, to live righteous and upright before God. The book is entitled, Wait, He's Coming, and the author is Dr. Kimberly McConico. Dr. Kim, Hi. welcome. Thank you, thank you. I am so glad to have you here, and the people are in store for a wonderful, this book is wonderful. I've read the book, I've enjoyed the book, I'm married, but of course, there's things that you always find out when you go back and see what you could have done. Mm -hmm. So let's just jump right into it. Okay. Tell our listeners.
creative cooking for everyday life. My name is Leland Thomas and I'm your host. Now today, we're gonna learn how to cook things out of a can. You won't believe what we can get out of a can. First off, we're gonna cook, we're gonna cook the fried corn. Fried corn, everybody loves the down south fried corn. Then second, we gonna have the Simon Croquettes. I know some of y'all back in the day remember them days of the Simon Croquettes. So you're gonna learn these two items. And then we got a two minute called mixed vegetable. It only takes two minutes. 